Here's a breakdown of the board I rode for over 300 miles in one day at Miami Ultrascade. My Pantheon Supersonic 6-ply, which I'm really proud to have helped develop. So I brought this back, and here we go. Let's get a rundown on the Supersonic. It's a 6-ply, which means it's super flexy, which I love because it absorbs bumps and it feels super lively pumping, but it might be a little too light for other people, but they have multiple flexes. I love that this board is all wood, no brackets. I run these loaded hardwares, which work really well with drills, you'll see. And then I run in this 15 degree board dynamics in the back with a 7 degree seismic riser, super low profile, keeps the board low. That in conjunction with a 90A fat cone riptide and a precision top hat washer, which makes it a little bit preloaded and livelier in the middle. Then I have this bare insert and then I have another 80A bushing on the outside. This board dynamics I set up in the back to be equivalent to a zero rear for ultimate stability. And then I have a 40 degree in the front, which ends up being more like 55, and I adjust it with this 3mm seismic riser. The bushings are about the same as the other setup, but a little lighter. So I got that little bit livelier front now, and that's about it. I got a slap on these 100mm 76A boa constrictor pros and those six ball seismic tectons, which roll super smoothly. Being able to run a setup like this at Ultrascape is super advantageous because it rolls over all the bumps super nice. You can see those soft wheels just truck over everything. It's just a super comfortable setup for, well, not only Miami Ultrascape, but just everywhere. I really like this board.